Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me back here. Uh, long time no see, as always. Uh, been a bit inconsistent with the videos, been really busy with uni, health, loads of stuff uh, that you're not interested in. So, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I've just got a quick one for you. I was going through my camera, found some footage, and I thought I'd edit it and put it out there just for something to keep the channel ticking over. And also, it's really interesting as well, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I've been getting some good view numbers as well recently on a few of my videos. Stuff like the detailing videos and the servicing videos of specific cars uh, and, you know, repairs and stuff. So if you do want to see more of that, if you think they're good, um, you know, I'm not, I haven't really got a big enough following. I've got like just over 100 subscribers. I ain't got a big enough following to to be doing, you know, vlog style stuff because I'm a nobody who's interested in that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you're not invested. So what I'm going to start doing, I've, I've, I've decided is uh, seeing if people want the cars detailing, filming it for you guys, showing you how I do specific things. Um, and kind of just giving a general overview. They seem to get really good numbers and a lot of people seem to be interested in it so I thought I'll put some stuff out like that and I will service vehicles and do sort of you know how to's as such and mechanical videos because that's helpful and it's really annoying when you're trying to find out how to do something on a car and it isn't there. So I can do that for you guys and um, just let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. Uh, if you're new to the channel uh, let me know down below if there's anything you would like to see standard YouTuber plug down below and uh, also standard YouTuber plug if you are new to the channel please do consider subscribing it helps me out a lot and even giving the video a thumbs up and maybe sharing with someone who might be interested in, in any of the videos that's that really helps me out a lot as well anyway that's today's video what it is I was over the summer I was in my friend's Land Rover and uh, it's not just any Land Rover it is a 1956 Series 1 Land Rover a 2 litre petrol 4 speed and it's really cool. He bought it when he was a uh, when we were I think when we were back at school for the grand sum of about five hundred pounds. Uh, it's not original by any means. You know, it's not a collector's item. It's got a Series Two engine in it. Uh, you know, modernisations, bits and bobs. Uh, but it's it's you know it's really fun. He got it up and running over a few years, and now it's kind of ready to go. Whenever he, I mean, he don't get driven much because it's a bit of a task. But he was back in Hull over the summer before went into lockdown to electric boogaloo. And he said, do you want to come, he lives just up the road from me, do you want to come uh, have a go in it and stuff and, and have a drive in it? So, yeah, please, mate. So I've got some footage of that, um, of driving it. It's a bit of a task, it's really hard, it has no sinker on first or second, so you've got to double clutch it all the time, and it's really weird to get your head into that. I've driven a lot of autos recently as well, so to go back to a manual, let alone a double clutch manual, it's really odd for me. Uh, but yeah, so it's fun, uh, you'll see in the videos. So there's a bit of footage of just whizzing about in it, me driving it up and down, a few uh, arty shots of it around and about, and then I will finish up for the guys who are interested after all those clips with a bit of an outro telling you what's going on. So stick around if you're interested, if not, just enjoy the footage of the Land Rover. That's gonna be reverse. It's not. That's not middle, is it? Yeah, that's reverse. Okay. So there, at first is there. Yep. Okay. Second, straight down. Third is up there somewhere. Oh no. Uh, that was a baptism of fire, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I like that one, make sure you let the clutch right the way out. Yeah, yeah. Fucking... <laughs> steering. <laughs> Gears, 
like a one more driving thing. Do you know when you take when you went to change gear in your first driving lesson, you take you completely aim at the curb. <laughs> Couple, but <laughs> it's pretty chill. Go get mum's water. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to steer a ship, isn't it? <laughs> That was the footage of me and uh, my friend Kelly in the Land Rover. Really fun, uh, absolute blast to drive. It's ridiculous. You're driving along, the steering wheel's like an old boat. It's, you're going like this to keep it. Do you know, like in old movies where they're going like this, it's just to keep it straight. Well, I think I don't think they were exaggerating too much because that was kind of like that. <laughs> but it was really fun, uh, really good experience. And yeah, that was fun. Now we're back in lockdown, so can't do anything like that at the minute. Not essential, is it? Uh, so yeah. So what's going on with the channel? I, like I mentioned in the intro video, I've been looking at the views, I've been, well, I've been busy, I've been looking at the views on the channel and stuff and seeing where the, the most views come from and how to really put up content that people are really interested in. So a lot of you guys are enjoying the detailing videos and the servicing, like I say. So I'm just going to mention to a couple of friends who have interesting cars or cool cars or nice cars or need some jobs doing on it, if they get the parts, I'll service it for them, do you know what I mean, if they're not... If it's an older car and they're not too worried about um, you know, stamps in the book and all that sort of stuff. So I figured I'll film it for you guys and I'll be able to make some content out of it. Um, I'm going to go for like a less arty approach. I, it just takes me too long. I'm too... Uh, it's not native to me, video editing and all that stuff like that. I'm okay at it. I, I have produced some... I say produced. I have put out some arty-ish stuff, but I'm, I'm not great at it. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just gonna sort of be simple videos, uh, but effective videos hopefully. So the next video that I put out, I'm editing at the minute, 
It's going to be a video of a car that I bought, that you haven't seen on the channel yet, modified, and then sold. <laughs> and I've actually sold it now. <laughs> so in the video I'll be referring to stuff like, oh I've got this, I've got you know these plans for it. Um, I'll let you see what it is. It's, it, it was fun, it was a nice little stancy car, spicy boy car. Uh, and I enjoyed it, I had fun with it, I didn't pay a lot for it, I spent way more than it was worth on it. And then, uh, with lockdown continuing and stuff, I, it was just sat there, it wasn't doing anything. And I just wasn't driving it, and I just wasn't getting the benefit out of it, and I just thought, well, what's the point? Like, it's just sitting there. Also, being an old mech, it was rushing away, uh, and I really couldn't be bothered to do any of the bodywork on it. So, one of my friends wanted to buy it, as is off me. Uh, it gave me enough money to buy a sensible daily again. <laughs> Um, you know, while I'm still at uni, still here doing this online uni. Um, so I did that, I sold it. <laughs> and I made a bit of money on the actual car, but with, you know, with the bits and bobs that I put into it, I lost a bit of money. But I mean, you don't, you don't get the value of mods back and everything anyway, dear, so whatever. Anyway, so I, I've picked up a Volvo uh, S60 D5 again. Now, I really enjoyed my old D5. I had one before, it was black on black, uh, really immaculate, really low mileage. And it was just an immaculate car, it was an auto box, a pre facelift S60, and I absolutely adored it, it was great. And when I got rid of it, except for, I ditched it. <laughs> so any of my friends will uh, never let me forget that either, but yeah, I uh, just had it remapped, it was coming around the corner, and uh, you know, maybe doing 31 instead of 30, and uh, yeah, back end just went, and I ended up backwards in the ditch. I thought it was quite soft, um, I thought it would be alright once I pulled it out of the ditch, pulled it out. Whole rear quarter was just absolutely crushed. Uh, but that's a testament to the Volvo's strength because me and my passenger barely felt anything. Anyway, so that got stripped and scrapped and you know. Um, and then I had the E90 which you've seen on the channel. But I really did miss my Volvo so I've sort of been going, I've had four cars since, three, four cars since the E90, E90, Passat, SLK. Yeah, I've had four cars since I put the video, first video out on the E90. And I've gone back to the Volvo, and I really liked it. Um, and the cheap, the reliable, you know, they're just great cars. So I'm going to be filming a bit of content on that, mainly just servicing parts and stuff and repairing parts. Um, you know, interesting stuff like that. But, yeah, thank you guys for, if you made it this far, thanks for listening to me waffle on. And hopefully I can, like I say, I'll be asking people if they want bits to do into the car, if they want valeting, detailing, all that sort of stuff. Stuff that I enjoy, stuff that I'm good at, stuff that's easy to film, I can sort of set the camera up and just let it run, you know, uh, and then I can edit it and talk over it or I can do a bit of commentary here and there, but something that requires minimal investment at this point um, while I'm still at uni doing that and while I'm still working around it as well. Um, I've done so many hours in a day and props to those people who get up super early and work super hard, you're an inspiration. I'm not quite there yet myself, so... <laughs> um, so yeah, I only have so many hours in a day. But thank you guys for listening to this absolute Try to load a waffle, is that saying? Uh, and yeah, stick around, things are coming, there is going to be content ticking over, hopefully I can grow the channel. Um, I'm surprised that after not putting anything out for a couple of months that I have actually reached 100 subscribers, but there you go, some people must enjoy some of the content that I'm putting out there, uh, although just trigger happy with that subscribe button. But anyway, if you guys could be as well that are watching this now, that would be much appreciated. So if I ever get anywhere near anything like a thousand, I'll have to do some sort of giveaway or something like that. So there's your incentive, a vague promise for vague hope for a vague giveaway that could be of any value. Anyway guys, much appreciate it. Thanks for all the love. And yeah, if you have any comments about anything that, I, that you would like me to see, put it down below in the comments. Leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and uh, subscribe if you, if you want to. Alright, see you later guys.